All right, number four, um, for parts A and B, we want to guess what might be Latifah's rule for the function. And um, what I'm going to do is just kind of see what this is counting by. So I'm going to make a table. <clears throat> and uh, we start with six, and then we skip to eight. And then we have nine and ten. And then uh, on the right side, we have 13, 19. 22 and 25 okay so for the time being I'm gonna skip this first one <clears throat> I'm gonna focus on these guys uh, and see what they're counting by and I'm I'm focusing on these because I notice there's a difference of one so I can kind of find out common difference these are one and common difference <clears throat> these are going up uh, three each time okay <clears throat> so what I want to do um, I can see right now if I add it three, it's not going to get me there. So I want to try to maybe multiply by three and see what happens. I'm using this number three we got. Eight times three gives us 24. Okay, 24 is too big. So in order to get to 19, I would have to take away five. Okay, so let's try to multiply by 3 take away 5 let's try that same thing here so I'm gonna do 9 times 3 which will give us 27 if I take away 5 that will give us 22 uh, this gives us 19 okay those match <clears throat> so try it again with the 10 10 times 3 will give us 30 if we take away 5 it gives us 25 that matches all right so let's go back to the six and verify so if I do six times three that gives us 18 and if we take away five that gives us 13 okay so it looks like the rule is we're gonna take the input and we're gonna multiply it times three so three in and then take away five okay so I just kind of find that common difference when counting by ones <clears throat> and then uh, add or subtract have whatever you might need to try to get that number and check to see if it works it does take some trial and error to see what's going on uh, with these <clears throat> 3 n minus 5 <clears throat> okay so part B none of these are counting by 1 um, start with 0 then 4 and then 7 and then 12 okay. and then we have 3 19 52 147 okay <clears throat> I would normally try to find a common difference but they're not counting by the same every time like the difference here is 4 and then it's 3 and then it's 5 so I'm not getting a consistent one I could try to find the slope uh, and same thing with here so 0 to 3 uh, we could say you know add 3 but if I add 3 here it doesn't work so if we did uh, maybe times 4 so like times 4 would still give us 0 plus 3 times 4 would give us 16 plus 3 would give us 19 I know this plus 3 because from 0 and 3 now, if I did times 4 here, because 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. But if I did 7 times 4, that's 28, plus 3 would give us 31. This is much bigger, okay? So, this is getting really big, really fast, even though the numbers aren't counted by 1. So, maybe we need to square it. When you see it's getting really, really large, really fast, like that kind of indicates maybe we're squaring something. So, let's try to square this number. So if I squared it and add 3 would that work so I'm gonna try uh, n squared and add 3 just because I got this 0 3 that's why I want to add 3 so uh, if I do 0 squared plus 3 I get 3 if I did 4 squared that gives me 16 plus 3 I still get my 19 alright if I did 7 squared plus 3 that gives me 49 
plus 3 would definitely give me 52. Okay, so it is being squared. Adding 3 looks like that's working. So we're going to try that through n squared plus 3. <coughs> 